This project was called Yellow Submarine, and once again we're making it for Lloyd Scott, the Marathon Man. Basically, working from images from the Beatles album cover, The Yellow Submarine, we're going to create this whole thing so the marathon people, four people in total, can dress up as the Beatles and carry it around for 26 miles. Working from the images from the album cover and some drawings, we've scaled it up once again using polystyrene and carving it back until we achieve the finish that we wanted. This was quite important that we actually achieved the right size and the right feel because with the four people or the marathon runners that were going to carry this we, we didn't want to make it so big that it become heavy and cumbersome and we didn't want to make it so small that it didn't look like um, a submarine at all. But in terms of weight we had to consider the scale of the submarine and the thickness of the fiberglass. Mainly it was a trade-off between the fiberglass being too thick and the fiberglass being too thin but the whole shape had to keep its integral strength. Some of the areas we actually made in sections. We made the body of the uh, submarine in one big lump. We made the funnels and the tubes on the top in another area and then we made all the kind of the window sections and all the portholes as another unit. And then we collated it all together, foiled it and fiberglassed it and painted it. And then afterwards we actually put in some metal work so it all can be really strong but relatively lightweight and straps tailor-made for the individual person who's running in a race to fit their shoulders and also to some grips so they can actually hold it with their hands and steady the um, submarine as they run. I'm not sure if Lloyd Scott used it in the end of the day but it was made to measure and made to weight and here's Lloyd standing with me now and it was a fantastic idea. Thank you Lloyd Scott for entrusting Scott to studios once again.